we're here at Dulwich Picture Gallery in London, and we are looking at a painting by Anthony Van Dyke. It's called Emmanuel Philibert of Savoy, Prince of Oneglia. It's from about 1624, and it is full of detail and texture and color and certainly things that are emphasizing that this was quite a grand man during his lifetime. He definitely is in a powerful position there, the way he's standing. He's definitely sending out his presence. He's definitely commanding something in the room with his eyes there. Absolutely. And his waxed-up moustache. And certainly a military element there in what he's commanding because look at how much detail is put into the armor and the light reflecting off of it. I mean, you could probably use it as a, a template to recreate it. You can see all the little rivets and the bits of metal. It's interesting you should mention the armour because for a long time no one really knew who this was of and that's when we were looking at the armour they went to the armories in Madrid and that's where they noticed that the armour actually still exists there in Madrid and that's how they managed to identify this. You see the detail of the emblem of the coronet and the palm coming through and that that relates to the family, the royal family in Spain. So I like the idea of somebody who's clearly got quite a bit of wealth. There's armor that's been made for his family. Look at the amazing cuffs and that huge ruff that he's got around his neck and his little signet ring on his pinky. It's interesting you should mention a signet ring because everything else about the picture is commanding, it's bombastic, it's military, it's in control, but that hand hangs down in a very soft, gentle way and the light from the ring highlights it. It's like they're trying to show another side of his personality with that inclusion of that hand. It's just limply kind of hanging there. It even looks like it's a bit smaller than his right hand from the, yeah. you know, the perspective. It's the hand that's closer to us, the viewer. Shouldn't it seem a little bit bigger, if anything? But it doesn't. So, yeah, this dichotomy of his personality, he's very strong and commanding, but maybe can also be kind of soft. It's thought that Van Dyke was asked to come to paint this picture for, for a special purpose, that actually he was uh, going to be matched in marriage with another noble woman or princess elsewhere in Europe, and that he was com- commissioned to come to Sicily to make his wedding portrait for him. So this is him about to launch onto his huge career and marry into other royal families elsewhere in Europe. Unfortunately, though, just shortly after this painter was done, he died. because The plague had broken out in Sicily and we were quarantined for a while. So this is him about to arrive onto the stage, but I don't think his bride to be ever got to see the painting. That's a shame. If I were to receive this painting about my prospective husband, that would be quite a, an impressive image of him. And that draws us back to the hand again, because if you just see, received a picture of a stern-looking military man, you might not want to marry him, but at least his hand is showing that I have a sensitive side. That's Maybe true. I'm more enticing for you to get married to. There is some kind of softness there. And there are the, these feathers on his helmet on the table too. There's kind of some soft texture to contrast with all of the metal and the stiff collar and cuffs. And it's very neatly done, you know. It's, it's certainly primarily an image of military command, but with these little hints that he's also somewhat soft and sensitive on the inside. Mm-hmm. It's sad, really, to think that he's about to launch into his splendor, everything he's been groomed for during his upbringing in the royal families of Europe and about to land on the world stage, really. And then it got cut out by the, by the plague. Cut short, and all we have left is a rather magnificent portrait of yeah, him. Yeah, a snapshot, as it were. Yes. That took a while. <laughs>